When you try to upload an SVG image to WordPress, you will get an error message saying the image.svg has failed to upload. Sorry, you are not allowed to upload this file type. My name is Victor and I'm going to explain why this happens and how you can fix it. SVG images are vector-based, so that means that they consist of mathematical formulas, while raster-based formats like JPEG and PNG consists of pixels. So the reason that WordPress doesn't allow uploads of SVG files is that there could be malicious code put into the SVG files, and that could lead to your site crashing or being hacked. However, the SVG format has been around for a while now, and it has some benefits like it's lightweight, it's of course vector-based, which means that you can scale it without losing quality, and it's also SEO friendly. So I'm going to show you two different methods to allow SVG uploads in WordPress, and I'm going to start with the easy one. And you can find all the links and resources on the blog on divimundo.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you can find the link in the description below the video. Okay, so method number one, that's using a plugin. And I'm going to use Safe SVG. So I'll head over to my WordPress dashboard. And from here, I'll go to plugins and add new plugin. And I'll search for Safe SVG. It has almost 1 million active installations, and it also has the word safe in the name. I mean, who could resist that? I'll start by clicking the Install Now button. And I'll click Activate. Well, now you're all set and done to start uploading SVG files. You don't need to do any settings, but I recommend that you take a look under the Settings tab and Media because if you scroll to the bottom, you can see a new section here with safe SVG settings. And here you can select which user roles should be trusted to upload SVG files. So if you have several users on your website, for example, a few editors that you don't really trust, you can simply disable their right to upload SVG files. But if you are the only user on the website, you are an administrator, so then you can just leave the settings as is. So let's test if this plugin works by going to media and add new media file. And from here, I'll click select files or drag my SVG file. And I'll take this divimundologo.svg and I click open. And instead of this annoying error message that we had before, I have a success message saying that this file is now uploaded. And now I can just go on with my life and insert this image in different pages, posts and templates with my preferred page builder. So the second method is using custom code. Maybe you are allergic to plugins or just want to keep the amount of plugins to a minimum. So let's deactivate the S safe SVG plugin and delete it. And go back to the blog post on divimundo.com because there we have the method number two, custom code. And before we start, uh, remember that you need a child theme if you want to insert code in the functions.php file. Otherwise, your code will be overwritten the next time that you upload your theme. You can also use a plugin like Code Snippets to add uh, code to functions.php without getting it overwritten. So I'll start by copying this little code snippet and I'll head back to my WordPress dashboard. And from here, I'll go to Appearance and Theme File Editor. Now make sure that you are editing the correct theme. So I have my child theme here and I'll go to the functions.php file and I'll paste the code and I click Update File. So the file was edited successfully, nice. Now I'm all said and done, so I'll head over to my media tab and I click add new media file. And now I click select files and I choose my SVG file. And it was uploaded successfully. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a comment, like and subscribe. That would make me very happy. Until next time, take care. Thank <music> you.